Hi, thanks for joining me. Before I get started, let me apologize that um, if my voice sounds funny, if I have coughing fits, if I do a lot of sniffling, um, I'm pretty sick and um, I wanted to do these videos a different day, but it just doesn't work out into my schedule. Um, so here I am. Um, so yeah, so I apologize for that. So today's, um, card is, um, one that I actually made for a team swap. Um, and in my card, I'll show you it for my team swap. I'm pretty sure that I use linen thread here. Um, but I forgot about that and I like it with the white. So we're just going to stick with the white. Um, I'm not sure if you can see but this is a white embossed flower from the elegantly said stamp set so let's just go ahead and get started um i have a basic white card base i'm just gonna go ahead and fold in half and give it a good crease And set it aside. I have a panel of Coastal Cabana and a panel of Basic White. Um, so the Basic White will go on the Coastal Cabana like this when we're ready. Um, and then I already put this through the die cutting machine. Um, I used the second largest stitched with whimsy die on this. And so we're going to start with this and we're going to use um, our watercolor pencils and you can certainly do this in a different fashion you can use your alcohol markers your stampin blends you can even use just ink um from your ink pads um, but this is the way i chose to do it so i'm using daffodil delight coast, uh, clips of coral and coastal cabana um and i have a um water painter here and actually we have um new like aqua painters but I haven't gotten them yet and I'm one who doesn't really like to put the water in my brush I just don't like the way it works so I use a Stampin' Spritzer and um you probably couldn't see but I um spritzed a little bit of water on the side and now I'm going to just go ahead and do some basic coloring I only want to color in the top like two-thirds I'm going to use my um, Daffodil Delight first and I'm just going to make a small like rectangular section it doesn't really have to be pretty because it's watercolor so I'm leaving a little bit of space between those two colors here um, because the water will blend it out more now you could do this using um, our fluid 100 um, water color paper um, but I'm just using um, a thick basic white but because I'm using a thick basic white you do not want to get too wet um, it will pill and it will bow it's gonna bow a little bit anyways um, and I did try it on the um, watercolor panel and I didn't like it as much um, I don't know everyone's different different opinions right so I'm just taking some water and I'm um, moving that water around and then I'm cleaning my brush off on this my little paper here getting some more water and then going ahead with my next color and then again cleaning my brush off get some more water for my next color and I'm just blending them out a little bit and you know like I said it doesn't have to be perfect but they're fairly lined up and they're just um there's no white space in between anymore I'm gonna let this dry for a moment <coughs> and then um while this is drying we'll move to um, our little sentiment piece. So I used the, I believe it's the smallest, um, circle and layer 
um, in the Layering Circles Framelits. I used the scalloped one on some Daffodil Delight and the flat round one we're going to use on here on our basic white scrap so that we can, um, oh, sorry, so that we can stamp our sentiment. I'm using a stays on because um, I want it to be nice and vibrant. And I'm using a sentiment for you from the Elegantly Said stamp set. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that on my um, scrap. And hopefully I have enough room. Um, doesn't matter if it's upside down. Um, because I don't really have a ton of room here for this. But let's see. Yeah, it works. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through my um, embossing machine real quick. Oh, die cutting machine, embossing machine actually does both. All right. So there is that. Now, um, again, I'm still waiting for this to dry a little bit. Looks like it's doing well. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere, adhere this together. And I'm going to use my liquid glue because the liquid glue gives me a little bit of, um, it gives me a, a moment or two, uh, like a second or two really, um, to maneuver this to line it up well. So I just need a little tiny bit of that yellow scallop peeking out all around and I don't push it down until I see it's all around then I go ahead and give it a little press and there is my piece I'll go ahead and set that aside now what we're going to do is we're going to heat emboss um uh, you know what I'm gonna warm I'm gonna heat this up just a little bit I just want to give it a little bit extra um to dry It feels mostly dry, but the yellow actually uh, looks like it killed a little bit. I don't think anyone's really going to notice that. All right, so I just hit it with my heat tool for a minute. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and take... Oh, I thought I had to stamp out, and I don't. I'm going to go ahead and take the um, flower from the Elegantly Said stamp set, and I'm going to stamp in... Versa mark, and I want to get a good, clean, crisp image. So I'm really making sure I get some that, that verse mark on there, and then I'm gonna line it up over my colors and give it a good press. And I don't always hold it this long, but I really want to make sure that it gets on there because um, it was you know watercolored it was still a little damp so now that that's on there I'm gonna take um well first I'm gonna take a piece of scrap and I'm going to um put some embossing powder on it this is the white you could do a different color if you wanted uh, we have I think gold white black and maybe copper I don't have that one. All right. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna put this back in here. And if you're anything like me, <laughs> make sure that you put the lid on tightly all the time because more than once, I have set the lid on and then forgot that I set it on and went to pick it up like this and made a mess everywhere. Um, so give it a little screw. <laughs> you know, you don't want to make a huge mess. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and um, get my heat tool and um, get that flour melted. I'm going to hit it on the back a little bit to try to um, help with that warping. There's a couple of tricks that you can do for the warping. And I'll tell you about them as we go here. Um, what I 
did um, originally is I put took this at this point after this cools down a bit. I stuck it under some books because I had 16 cards to make. Um, so I had the time to do it. Stuck it, you know, under some heavy books and it took the warp right out of it. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to, and I think this works amazing. I'm going to use double-sided tape. Now Stampin' Up! sells Terran tape and that is the double-sided tape. Um, I don't have that right now. Once this is empty, I will have the tear and tape. Um, but I want to use up all the supplies that I already have on hand. So this will help with um, that warping because it's going to um, give a good solid adhesive on here. This actually warped a little bit more than um, most of mine were, so I must use probably a little more water than I normally would. Um, but anyways, so there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, stick it down onto my Coastal Cabana piece. Now remember, I... Um, put all my dimensions in the description below and also in my blog which um the link for that will also be found below and it's making mail monday i think i forgot to mention that so on making mail monday i make a card and i will mail it to somebody who um likes and comments on this video within the youtube um, platform not on any other uh, social media platform. Um, that really helps me um, and my channel and tells me that you like what you see and that you want me to make more. So um, you just like it and then in a week I will um, draw a winner. Um, and the, this card will be mailed to you. Now, this still warped a little bit, which this is not usual for me. I, I don't normally have it still warp, but it is pretty humid. Um, so that might be part of the reason why it has warped so much. So because it is warping, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it under some books for a second. Um, you know, I only have a moment that's not really going to help significantly, but I'll just put these away real quick. Um, and I'll let you know that we do have some specials going on currently and coming up. Right now, there are select diner, uh, designer series papers on sale. If you go to my website, which will be linked below. Um, you'll be able to find those. I honestly am not sure which ones, but I know select ones are on sale right now. Um, I should have looked at the details before I got on here, but you know, it's life. It is what it is. So, okay, those are done. Let's go ahead and pull that back out. Also, next month starts, um, celebration which is when we have a little time a small little catalog of some like extra fun stuff that you can earn for free by placing an order of fifty dollars or more before tax and shipping so keep an eye out for for that and also next month comes out the um basically it's like a holiday catalog i'm not sure if we call it the holiday catalog anymore or not but it's a holiday catalog and that has some really fun looking stuff in it. I can't wait to get one of those um, items. I um, have a pre-order coming soon and then I'll be able to show it with you, share it with you. I can't talk today. So I've got some uh, white baker's twine here and I am going to just go ahead and uh, do a double wrap at the bottom of my card here. And cut. And then we'll just go ahead and tie a little knot over here. You could make a bow if you wanted. I just like the idea of just a basic little knot. 
and uh, again, uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I don't, I'm not a good bow maker or even not to tire. So, um, it is what it is, which is probably why I chose to do a knot because me and bows just don't get along. So I just kind of put that, um, about in the center of this white space down here. Then I'm going to go ahead and take, go back to the sentiment. I'm going to pop that up on some dimensionals. And look at this. I am down to the end. And I love when that happens. All right. And then I'm just going to pop that over um, my... thread right there and then I'm still not liking that how much it's warped you will get the not warped one in the mail this will probably be fine once I put um, it all together and have it sit for a little bit so um, two more things this gets put onto the card base and I popped this up as well and I normally only put like four or five um, dimensionals on the back, but I'm going to put a good amount on here because it is a little warped and that might help give it a little bit more stability. Hmm. If I can actually get it on there. <laughs> I'm really struggling today. Well, I thought I cut it and apparently I didn't. If you think this is a lot, this is nothing. I've seen other people use way more. Um, one, of my, one of my favorite um, YouTube people card makers um puts a ton on yeah like a ton I think sometimes he might use a whole sheet <laughs> maybe not a whole sheet but a lot um anyway so here we go all right we'll go ahead and line that up on here trying to get a fairly even All right, and then the last thing that I did is I used these beautiful opal rounds to just give a little bit of bling and shimmer because they do have a little shimmer to them. And I thought they matched this card pretty well. So I'm gonna put a big one up there and a small one right there and a small one right there. And that is my card. Um, so yeah, and give me a like, give me a comment. Let me know what you think. What color would you use as the background? I, I really debated, I almost used Daffodil Delight. Um, and then next week I'll choose a winner and I'll message you um, or comment. I'll comment and leave um, asking you to let me know what your address is. Um, and if nobody comments, then it will be mailed to somebody of my choosing, of my own friends, family, or um, someone around that I know might need a, a little cheering, a little cheery mail. Thanks so much for joining me.